to stay here. Tell him I'm busy at the moment. Perhaps the Lord could play games after he tends to business. He's right. It's okay. You should go. Fine. Let's be done with it. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you wished to stay. If you wish to stay Lord of this house, then show him the same defiance. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero. Fighting for the North against traitors and oath-breakers. Aye! And look where that got him! And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur! No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished! Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the Squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the King's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. 
Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do your worst, you bastard. You must find your voice, my lord. Your enemies will interpret your silence as a sign of weakness. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister...